you how to it, smiley and surely. How do? Glad you've got a full house in tonight. It's lovely. Ain't it, though? It's like a dream, this is. Ain't it, though? Ain't it, though? Hey, speaking of dreams, I've always had a bit of a dream myself, you know. Oh, nice. Nice link, man. What it is is, see, always want to run a little weapon shop, I have. A weapon shop, eh? Well, I don't know why you're bringing it up in the middle of a show, but sounds like an all right idea, that does. Ain't it, though? Eh? Do you fancy doing a quick practice with me? Huh? Practice? Yeah, man. I'll be the shopkeeper, see? And you, um, a zookeeper, right? And, uh, well, all your animals have run away and your wife's left you. Oh, yeah. Make it easy for me, why don't you? I'm not a flipping professional actor, am I, you div? Come on, man, serious now. What do you want me to be? Uh, a lion tamer? Do how is that any flipping easier? Can I just be my flipping self? Oh, no one wants to see that, man. No, I know you again. You're trying to give me something hard to do so you look better in it, though. Nah, man. I just thought you'd like a nice juicy roll to get your teeth into, ain't it, though? Juicy roll, eh? Well, I may not be a professional, but my widow Twanky's pretty legendary. Right on. So, I'm the customer at your weapon shop, right? And you were the proprietor of said establishment. All right, give us a moment. Ba 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 ma 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 ka 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 ka. Get on with it, man. And knock knock out, do cha ching. Clear off, cha ching. What the heck was that, man? We slam the door in my flipping face. We're not open yet, are we? Not open yet, but flipping are you, Bill? All right, we're open now. Oh, you are right. <laughs> knock knock, cha ching. How do? How do? I uh, just wanted to look at what weapons you got here, innit? Though. Sorry, man, that's next door but one. What? No, it's flipping not. It's my shop. Yeah, you're a weapon shop. You can't go telling me what I sell to my own shop. But you said yourself you wanted it to be a flipping weapon shop. It is a flipping weapon shop. Give me strength, man. All right, all right. Sorry, man. I'll do it properly now, I promise. It's a weapon shop. Good. Selling weapons. Exactly. Right oh. Knock, knock. Cha-ching, how do? What weapons you got here, then? What weapons you after, exactly? Well, I don't know, do I? Uh, what about, you know, one of them huge, great, choppy numbers? Yeah, a proper massive one of them. That's what he wants. Uh, I'm afraid I cannot help you. Huh? You can't help me? You're the flipping shopkeeper, aren't you? I am sorry, sir. Huh? But that is just too big an axe. Flipping egg, man. I was ripping. Made this not happen at all. Because it can't take much. She's laughing like a flipping dream, tidy, drippy man. We're all set. Right, do you lot all aboard? Aboard? Aboard what? Here I go, boys. Let the mission to ma'am begin. One of you give us a light, will you, man? Launch command received. Roger, Roger that. Hold on to your hats. We have ignition. Ow! Three, two, one, blast off! <laughs> I think so. All here in one piece? One pile more like. All right, no need to get in a tiz. It's the only way to get in here, isn't it? Oh, this takes me back. Look around you, my friends. This year's mummy's tummy where it all started.
fancy your chances, do you? Here goes! Ready? Slacking you lot. Thank you. 
slacking you lot. Here goes. <laughs> Slacking you lot. Here goes. <laughs> Littlies, it's time for the slidey ride of your tiny, tiny lives. <laughs> well, don't just stand there, come on. Huh? A squid's got our kids. What the heck? 
The Littleys! No way! We already saved them once! Sorry, Ollie boy, but the future of the ferry race is at stake! Ah! Uh, do we have any choice?
Oh, they're coming. Oh, I can feel it. Oh, they're coming. At long last. Come on, my little darlings. <laughs> oh, Oliver. What's wrong? It's Philip. He's mean. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Oi, Ollie boy. Don't cry, man. I'm the tear fairy, see? I don't like seeing them go to waste. You're a... a fairy? I am, and a proper tidy one at that. You talk funny. <laughs> That's how fairies talk, sweetie. But it's goofy. Oh, is it now? Well, I wish I'd known that before I made him for you. Nobody made him. He's my friend. Of course he is. I'm sorry. And I'm sure he'll always be your friend, no matter what. Come on now, don't be such a crybaby bunting. What would Mr. Drippy think? I'm not a crybaby bunting. Then you'd better dry those tears, hadn't you? Hmm?
Don't go get it all soppy on me. Oi, I thought I told you to... The Eye of the Storm, 
Until now, the use of this most ancient of magics was the sole privilege of the overseers of this world. Was it too much for you, perhaps? We granted you this privilege that you might finally dispose of the prophesied one. My apologies, your radiance. But the boy... He has a... Unique power. Perhaps. Or perhaps you simply lack the power to stop him. Perhaps... Apus. Forgive me, your radiance. Majesty, the boy is clearly protected by the most potent of magics. Who could it be? The sage, Alicia. I had wondered, your radiance. She who was foolish enough to stand against you. You think she troubles us even now, in the present? The power that protects him would suggest so. But he will need more than the Sage's aid to save the world. He cannot succeed without the weapon of the Ancients, the wand wrought by the Wizard King. Mornstar. Indeed. But we have no cause to fear its power. He will not find it. I have made that impossible. Making a wand disappear is the simplest of parlor tricks, after all. You mean to say you have rid us of Mornstar? I have. The most enduring symbol of the Wizard King's rule now drifts free of time and space. Mornstar. Fashioned in the image of our own Council's ones and bestowed upon humanity. Yet now, a mere hindrance. You are certain the boy cannot possess it? Not now, nor for all eternity. Mornstar.